Hey y'all, welcome back. Today, I'm going to reveal part of the big project that I got coming up. And we'll start with this part. I've kind of pre-installed part of this, but I'll let you know what I've done right here. Alright, I dug about a four foot hole. I done it with my tractor, and then I took a... Uh, I think it's like a four by four piece of square tubing that's four foot long and I welded a plate on top of it and drilled my holes out in it and buried it in the ground of course it's rained since I put the concrete in and I didn't put concrete all the way up but I did put enough down there to hold it for sure I can stand on it and it won't move uh, and this is gonna be my mount for the echo worthy solar tracking kit uh, I have six 300 watt panels, which is 1800 watts that we're going to try and put on this thing. And I'm just going to get you a little video of me putting this thing together. It's my first time doing one of these. There are a lot of videos on YouTube of, of folks putting these together. Uh, Tony's Tractor, I can't remember the whole name of his channel, is a great channel to watch and uh, get some information on this. Uh, I think Southern Solar Academy is his channel also. Uh, so I'll give a shout out to him on this because he's, he's the one I've been kind of watching to do some of this stuff. Uh, so uh, without further ado, I guess we'll just get started on it. Okay, so I do know that you're going to want this thing facing south. Uh, and these also have south, east, and west, and north on it to show you which way to start setting it up. So uh, I've already took a compass and made sure that my plate was uh, directly facing south for this thing to hook up. So we're just going to get started and bolt this thing on. Now, in doing it this way, you do have to go buy extra bolts to bolt this uh, bottom base to your uh, flat metal down here because uh, the recommended way of installing this is putting concrete in the ground with anchors sticking up. But uh, I felt a little safer with this, and the anchors they sent were only a couple inches long, which might be great and fine, but I just I felt like this would hold better. So. There are eight bolts around this thing. I'm gonna put them all in and tighten them up and uh, then we'll come back and move on to the next part. Okay, the next part is part C and it doesn't matter which end goes where. Uh, and it goes upside down like that with these two little pins and car keys that go through them. A good little hint that, uh, I got from uh, Tony over at uh, Southern Solar Academy is to put the pins in where the heads of them are facing the north because your solar array is going to be tilted to the south most of the time and that will keep the pressure off your car keys. Okay, once you got those pins bent over, it's time to move on to the next part, which is going to be part D. Uh, 
uh, be the one with that echo worthy uh, sticker on it and have four holes in one end and on one side it have two holes. All right, so the next pieces you put on are E, and uh, there are two holes that are uh, like bushing threaded, uh, and you wanna make sure on the back one that they go on the, uh, the west side. And the front one is made exactly the same way, but it doesn't matter. So I've already got the back one on, I'm gonna put the front one on. Okay, so we're gonna put these parts on next. Um, they just go end to end. So you'll have four going one way, or two and two, and then you'll have four which make the other two. So we're gonna do that. Alright y'all, we have just about got it fully assembled and almost ready to put the panels on. Uh, we missed some of the videoing because there was discrepancies in how to put it together. Uh, the manual is not right according to everything I can find out on the internet. On the man manual, it shows to put the, the back actuator on the left side. Uh, well, of course, if you were standing this way with it behind you, it'd be the left side. Uh, according to all the videos I've watched, and uh, it actually goes on this side, on what would be my right side with it behind me. Um, I did see where somebody had made a comment that they had contacted Echo Worthy and that it goes on the right side and that it is wrong in the manual. It's wrong in the pictures. Uh, I was wondering why everybody that I was watching other videos do this was putting it on on this side when the manual says put it on that side. Uh, and I'm talking about this actuator right here. Um, so I guess you just got to use your own judgment. Watch as many videos as you can about it. And uh, from what I've figured out, everybody's got it on this side. So that's what we're going to go with. Uh, I did see that other people said that you're not supposed to put these on these center two bolts, that you're supposed to spread them out. Um, I elected not to do that because it's 118 inches that way, and these other ones are 118 inches. So, if I spread them out, those are going to be longer. Now, if you had bigger solar panels and you needed them to be longer, I'm sure you could do that, but... I don't really see a way to spread the uprights out anymore. Uh, so you could get longer width, but not longer height. Uh, all right, we're gonna jump back on this thing and, and work on it a little bit more and uh, see how far along we can get on it. <laughs>
All right, y'all, before we leave, I just wanted to show you how this thing resets. Uh, you can see the sun has went down over the trees over there. So uh, I think it's going to be about 15 or 20 seconds, something like that. And this thing should reset. Uh, I think it comes all the way over to the east side. Here it goes. And when it gets all the way to the east, it will stop right there for a few seconds. And it does some kind of little timer. And then it will go back to the level position. And it will stay there until the sun comes out in the morning. And then it will search for the sun, and it will track the sun all day. Uh, this position right here is the best position for it to be in if it's really windy. And so this is always the home position that it goes back to. All right, just want to show you guys it. I just want to thank y'all for watching the video, and uh, stay tuned for more on this. This will just be uh, the first part of it. But we got the solar array up, got the panels on. Uh, I actually dug the trench today and moved the power into my building here. Uh, so the next step will be doing the inside part. So y'all stay tuned for that. And uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. And as always, God bless you. We'll see you next time.